Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros, it's Drew here, and if you did not know, the all new Avengers Campus will be coming to Disney California Adventure next year in the late spring or summer of 2020. And in the brand new land that is replacing the former Bugs Land, there will be many attractions to explore, including a brand new Spider-Man attraction that looks to be a shooting dark ride, but without any blaster or gun to use. So that will be interesting to use webs coming from what looks to be your own hand, as well as an all new Doctor Strange experience, which should be quite mystical if you ask me. And in addition to that, there will also be the Pim's Test Kitchen, a new Ant-Man themed microbrewery and eatery, which will hopefully be quite tasty. Now, of course, this land will lead into where Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout resides, but all of that will be coming next year in 2020 as Phase 1 of this land. Now, I say Phase 1 because there will be multiple phases for this area of the park just for Avengers Campus alone, and Phase 2 is introducing a brand new Avengers e-ticket attraction that looks to be potentially one of the most advanced rides in the world from the concept art that we've received from the Disney company. Now the facade will be able to be seen with phase one next year, but the ride will not be opened until phase two in a year or two after that. Now there's a lot of speculation going around on what the ride potentially could be, whether it's a new ride system, entirely something that we haven't thought of before and from the concept images it does look to be unlike anything else we've ever seen with singular seats floating around by themselves in a battlefield in what looks to be Wakanda. Now of course Disney concept art can sometimes go the extra mile in showing scenes that might be a little uncharacteristic for the ride system given especially for the Soren over the world concept art pieces that show a row of people physically at that place that they are soaring over with nothing above or below them besides the area they are in. Now, of course, we know that's not the truth because most of the time when you ride soaring, you can see feet dangling above you as well as that domed screen in your vicinity. But a viewer of the channel named Mason ended up bringing this to my attention for the new Avengers e-ticket attraction that it could potentially be a Vacoma flying coaster. This attraction has actually been rumored to be a coaster for a long while now. And when we saw the concept art, we all kind of stepped back and went, wait, is it not going to be a coaster? But looking at photos of concept art from the new Vacoma flying coaster, it actually does look incredibly similar to parts of the concept images we've seen. But this is what's said on Vacoma's website about the flying coaster. On this really unique ride, riders are comfortably and safely harnessed in a prone position. Riders start in a sit-down position and are transported sideways to a dark ride section. They are immersed in a story to save the world using their super flying powers. Prepared to get launched, the track and seats are turned 90 degrees, creating a smooth transformation from dark ride to flying coaster from where the flight begins and riders experience inversions, airtime moments, near miss moments, and a lot more. With their arms stretched out, face down, and parallel to the track, this is as close to it gets to flying like Superman. The combination of the different positions of riders creating a free view dark ride section in combination with a thrill makes this ride type a one of a kind in the roller coaster industry. Now why I mention flying coaster yet again, especially with what's said on the website, is the fact that there are also these concept images from Vacoma themselves showing the dark ride portion in what looks to be an Avengers type lab. There is even a mech suit that has been covered up and potentially might be an Iron Man suit. But of course that's stretching it a little bit. But we do know for the Avengers e-ticket attraction, there will be a Quinjet section of the ride as you will have to get from the Avengers campus to Wakanda somehow. But it wouldn't surprise me if you started out the ride 
in the laboratory, getting prepared for your mission before boarding onto a Quinjet inside of your ride vehicle, potentially, with the help of the new 3D technology that Disney is implementing with new rides such as Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind at Epcot, as well as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disney's Hollywood Studios, as well as soon to be coming to Toontown in Disneyland. But this brand new technology seems to be quite promising in the fact that it could really place you in these environments without having goggles on to help your 3D immersive experience. And the way that it's talked about how the flying coasters get into flying position definitely seems like it could work with you from your seat in the Quinjet to be turning to the side and jumping out the side of the Quinjet to join the action that's around you. And of course, this wouldn't be the only time that Disney has brought up a storytelling coaster experience in the past year or so because Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is the first type of attraction like that also being built by Vacoma. This roller coaster ride is going to use that same type of 3D technology all around the coaster as you're spinning in your vehicles to show off a real story. And it is totally possible for that to be the same case with Vacoma's flying coaster model. And heck, even the concept art seats look like the flying coaster model seats as well. Now, of course, it wouldn't be one by one seating because that just wouldn't make sense for capacity reasons for a Disney park, like it's shown in the concept art, but two by two is not a bad option either. It wouldn't really hurt the immersive ability as much. But with different types of story elements all around you as you're flying throughout a battle in Wakanda, could create one of the most amazing experiences possible at any Disney park. And if Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney Shanghai has anything to show for this new type of technology and where it could lead us, I am incredibly excited for attractions with this technology to start being popped out in multiple different resorts across the world for Disney. Now, of course, this is just speculation as of right now. There have been patents that we've seen in the past for a different type of ride system that was heavily rumored for the Spider-Man attraction, but it wouldn't surprise me if that was used for the brand new Avengers e-ticket attraction either. But I think a Vacoma flying coaster would probably be the best fit for this type of attraction. It really is super thrilling and they could even potentially put some inversions throughout the course. But the fact that Vacoma's website specifically states you could be flying like Superman as well as being immersed in a story to save the world using their flying superpowers and the fact that it is half dark ride with some of the portions of the ride possibly experienced. I think a lot of the arrows are pointing towards Vacoma's flying coaster model to be potentially the ride concept to be built for the Avengers e-ticket attraction. And I gotta say a huge, huge thanks to Mason for bringing this to my attention. And I did tons of research on this ever since he brought it up to me. Because honestly, after doing the research I have that I've put into this video as well, I am honestly more than 50% sure that this will be the Avengers e-ticket attraction. Especially since we don't know what the ride system will be as of yet. As well as Disney's track record with working with Vacoma for coasters as well as the new technology that could be put within the ride. And even with the fact that the flying coaster is only launched as of now with dark ride sections included. And I just think a lot of fingers are pointing straight towards this being the potential e-ticket attraction for Avengers Campus, at least at Disney California Adventure by around 2022 and 2021 at the earliest. Now, of course, there is one other flying coaster by Vacoma that is in progress right now, and that is Fly at Fantasialand in Germany, which is yet to open and has faced some incredible delays over the past couple of years. But that will be the first Vacoma launched flying coaster that will open hopefully next year. And I know Fantasialand does some amazing theming, especially with 
the example of Terran just across the way inside the park. I could legitimately see Disney, though, bringing this to a level that is Wakanda worthy. And hopefully that is the case. But what do you guys think about this potential ride system being used for the Avengers e-ticket attraction? Obviously, it's not confirmed, but I'd love to see your thoughts down in the comments below, as well as what you th could think it could also be besides this idea. But again, huge thanks to Mason for bringing this to my attention, and also huge thank you for watching. It means a heck of a lot, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We're going to have tons of updates for parks in SoCal, as well as vlogs and reviews and other thought videos like this, just thinking about the future. But until next time, we'll see you on the next ride.